Now, today's top stories in Power of 5 weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Hi, everybody. Let's take a look at today's top stories. Metro Health has just become the first hospital system in Cleveland to require its employees to receive COVID-19 vaccinations. Metro Health says everyone needs to get their shot by October 30th. Employees who cannot be vaccinated for medical or religious reasons will be exempt. Those who refuse the COVID vaccine will be subject to disciplinary actions, including termination. Metro Health's CEO said today they are proud of this decision because protecting caregivers against COVID-19 is the right thing to do. More than 80 percent of its 7,800 employees are already vaccinated. They already require annual flu vaccinations as well as measles, mumps and rubella vaccinations as a condition of employment. A Cleveland man on trial for shooting and killing a 12 year old boy in Cleveland's Buckeye neighborhood has been found guilty. A jury convicted Marvin Harris on charges of murder, attempted murder and felonious assault in, in the death of Abdel Bashidi. Abdel was killed outside his father's beauty supply store in November of 2017. Five others were injured. Marvin will be sentenced at a later date. Some Northeast Ohio cities teamed up today to make sure they're ready to go if an emergency unfolds on the water. First responders from New Franklin, Coventry, Green, Ohio, DNR, and Summit County, they all gathered at Portage Lakes today for a mass casualty drum, drill. They simulated a crash between a pontoon boat and a large speed boat with victims both on the surface and underwater. It was all to see just how big a disaster this team could really handle. It's teamwork right there. Hi, Mark. All right, lows tonight near 70. It's going to be muggy again with some scattered fog. Tomorrow, 85 to 90, somewhere in there. It all depends on how soon the thunderstorms arrive during the afternoon. Heat index is above 90 again. Hot and muggy through Sunday with isolated storms. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.